Hello friends, Tom Downey here for NFL Daily, presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. We've got one week left of the NFL season, so let's take a look at the current AFC playoff picture, which is kind of just a controlled mess. Is that the best way to go about it? There are only eight teams still alive, but not a single seed has actually been secured at this point. Yeah, four teams have clinched playoff spots. We're going to have a bunch of different win and in scenarios for the AFC, but it is kind of a bit of a mess right now. So we'll start things off with the Kansas City Chiefs. They are right now the number one seed, but they've only secured a playoff spot. Now they can clinch the number one seed with a win versus the Oakland Raiders, or if they lose that game, a rather convoluted scenario of a loss and a Chargers loss and a Patriots loss and a Houston Texans loss. So the Chiefs should be able to secure that number one seed with that win if they lose that game they're going to slide a little bit, and they're probably going to slide out all the way down to the number five seed. The good news is the Raiders, well, they're not very good. I think the Chiefs will win that game. The New England Patriots were the number three seed last week. They moved up thanks to their win and the Texans' loss. They are still alive for a bye. They secure that number two seed with a win. If they lose, they can still get that number two seed with a, you know, a loss there, a Ravens' loss, and a Texans' loss. And a Colts loss. Believe it or not, the Titans are actually still alive for the, or the Colts win, excuse me, a Colts win, because the Titans are still alive, as, as strange as it sounds, for the number two seed. Now, they can also secure the number one seed. Here's how they do that. Step one, they win. Step two and three, the Chiefs lose and the Chargers lose. Now, if that maybe doesn't work out, they can get the number three seed. If they lose, the Ravens lose and the Texans win that game, or a loss, a Ravens loss, a Texans loss, and a Colts win. So, very complicated scenario there for the New England Patriots. Now, they can fall all the way down to the number four seed. That happens with a loss if the Ravens win and the Texans win, or if they lose, the Ravens win, Texans lose, but the Titans also win. So it's all very complicated, very convoluted scenario there, but that is how the Patriots could fall anywhere from number one to number four. They make it simple by winning, and they should be able to do that at home on Sunday against the New York Jets, who are probably going to fire head coach Todd Bowles. They are almost, no, really, they are 13.5 favorites in this one. They should win that game. A loss by New England at home in Week 17, when they do some, some stuff to play for, would be rather stunning. All right, the Houston Texans, as we sit right now, they are your number three seed in the AFC, but they have only secured a playoff spot as well. No division crown yet for them. They get the AFC South with a win or a Colts loss, or Ty will talk more about that Colts-Titans game later on, but if the Texans lose, they're probably actually not going to win the AFC South, and in that scenario, that would drop them down to the number six seed, which would be a pretty steep fall there for the Houston Texans, because obviously, they're not going to catch the LA Chargers at this point. So they can finish anywhere, and this is how just chaotic the AFC South is. The number one, number two, or they can drop down to number six or finish three, whatever it is. It's pretty crazy, right? They're not going to drop to four because they're going to, you know, they're going to win. Blah blah blah. Number one seed. If they win, they need a Patriots loss and a Chargers loss and a Chiefs slot loss. Maybe not the most likely outcome. The number two seed, meanwhile, is a win and a Patriots loss, and then, of course, either a Chiefs or Chargers win, because otherwise, you'd still be alive for the number one seed. Now, all that is very, very complicated. There, You can also get it with a win, a New England loss, an LAC loss, KC loss, blah, blah, blah. All incredibly complicated so far for the Houston Texans. They sit right now, again, as your number three seed. Those are three of the teams that have clinched a playoff spot. And Texans, they should be able to win against the Jacksonville Jaguars. At home, 7.5 point favorites. I would expect the Houston Texans come out with a victory in that one. Look, the Jacksonville Jaguars, they just aren't very good right now. So we went through those top three seeds. All right, I could also throw in the charges in this next question here, but who is the team to beat in the AFC? Let me know in the comments section. You can make, I think, a real argument for the Chargers. Heck, maybe even the Ravens coming off that win as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments section. The Chiefs have not looked very good in prime time. All of these teams have flaws, so maybe just go with what we know. And until a team takes down the Patriots in the AFC, even though they have not looked all that good this year, they looked just a step behind what we're used to seeing for the Patriots, maybe you still want to go with them. All right, folks, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code LIVE120 for a 120% deposit 
bonus. What that means is you put down 50 bucks, they're gonna give you 60 for free to bet with, and then go DM us on Twitter, at Chatsports, and we'll get you guys hooked up with a free NFL jersey, the perfect Christmas gift. Chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for the bonus and for a free jersey once you DM us on Chat Sports. Inventory's gone pretty quickly here, so get in while you still can. Just DM us on Twitter at Chat Sports to get in on that deal. All right, so the AFC playoff picture. The number four seed right now is the Baltimore Ravens. They have not yet secured a playoff spot, and they can only get the AFC North. And it's compared to the chaos that is the AFC, rather simple right now. Win or the Steelers lose and the Ravens are going to the playoffs and they are your NFC North champions. But they are out with a loss and a Steelers win. Now, they can also get all the way up to a bye potentially. To get that to go down, they need a win, a Texans loss, and a Patriots loss. And that's a bit of a long shot, but technically still alive. And they get the number three seed, by the way, with a win and a Texans loss or a Patriots loss. Now, the Ravens this week play the Cleveland Browns, and Browns actually playing very well under head coach Greg Williams. And we've seen this story before, right? The Ravens, with a chance to secure a playoff spot, they win and they're in, lose and they might be out, against an Ohio team with nothing to play for. We saw that happen last year. The Ravens blew it against the Bengals. They can't do the same thing this time around. Otherwise, that alleged John Harbaugh extension might not end up getting done. So which team will win the AFC North? Type S for the Steelers, R for the Ravens. I will lean more towards Baltimore. I think they can take down the Browns. We'll break down how Pittsburgh can get in the playoffs here in just a little bit. But first, the LA Chargers, who, <laughs> this is just chaos, right? This doesn't make any sense, right? They can get the number one seed or the number five seed. That's it. Those are the only two seeds the Chargers can get right now. To get the number one, they must win and have the Chiefs lose against the Raiders, which doesn't seem all that likely. For the number five seed, they have to lose or if the Chiefs win. So in all likelihood, I think you'll see LA secure the number five seed. By the way, let's assume it's Ravens Chargers. Did we just see that game, by the way? It was a fantastic match. We've got to have a rematch very, very quickly. All right, let's get now to the elimination section. The Colts, they are right now your number six seed, but they are in a win or go home game at the Tennessee Titans in week 17. Now, they can still get the AFC South if they win and the Houston Texans lose to the Jaguars, and they can get the number three seed if the Ravens also lose. I don't consider that the most likely outcome. I think you'll see the Texans win. Either way, the Colts are in an elimination game, Sunday Night Football against the Tennessee Titans, who again, they're in a win and in game. They can also secure the AFC South with a win and the Texans loss. In the end, folks, don't forget this. The loser of the Colts versus Tennessee game is eliminated from the playoff race. That is where we currently sit. Now, Colts, Titans, no points spread quite out yet right now on BetDSI. It's a home game for Tennessee. That's typically worth about three, three and a half points, depending on just how big of a home field advantage it is. Three is typically the number there. Don't be surprised if you see the Colts make a run here. So who you got? Type T for Titans, C for Colts. I will not be surprised if this game goes all the way down to the wire. Now, the Titans actually have a little bit more to play for in terms of seeding. Obviously, both teams playing for their entire seasons. But the Titans, yes, they can actually get the number two seed with a win, a Texans loss, and a Ravens loss, and a Patriots loss, which doesn't seem all that likely. Number three seed, much like the Colts, with a win, a Texans loss, and a Ravens loss. The Titans right now on a four-game winning streak. They are hot, but so too are the Colts. Frankly, two of the hottest teams in all of the AFC playing for a playoff spot on Sunday Night Football. All right, folks, if you don't know what to add to your last-second holiday wish list, how about a Miz and a Main shirt? Go get one at comfortable.af, and that URL does check out. You guys are not going to find a more comfortable dress shirt than a Mizzen and Manger. Plus, they've got sweaters as well. Go check them out, comfortable.af. All right, one last AFC team I want to take a look at here that's still alive because the Browns and Dolphins and everyone else have all been eliminated now. The Pittsburgh Steelers, who had a rough go against the Saints, put up a good fight, but had some iffy play calling, had a fumble by Juju Schuster, had a garbage PI call against Joe Hayden. 
gave this, the Saints a surefire touchdown. They can only win the AFC North, and to do that, they must win, and they're cheering for the Browns to take down the Ravens. If they lose or the Ravens win, the Pittsburgh Steelers are eliminated from the playoff race. So the good news is for Pittsburgh, they should be able to beat the Bengals. At home, week 17, everything to play for. They're 15 point favorites. I got the Pittsburgh Steelers in that one, but they might not get in. The Ravens have a pretty solid chance to get in as well with a game against the Browns. All they have to do is win that one. Pittsburgh, thanks in large part to an embarrassing loss against Silicon Rivers, which should have never ever happened, might be at home this playoff season. But we've seen this before, right? Pittsburgh on the, on the outside looking in, then the Jets lose a surefire game and the Pittsburgh Steelers end up getting in. Maybe you see something similar this time around. All right, folks, subscribe to our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Let's hit that button right there on, on your screen as you're watching here. We got playoff picture, coaching hot seats, highlights, and so much more. Again, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Hit that button and subscribe.